Whenever you see supply of credit building up, then you've got to worry. And when we saw growth in the market in the like upper 30s, and particularly within that, you looked at certain markets where customers earning more than 15% a month, the growth in unsecured credit there was over 80%. That is always going to be something that you've got to be careful of. That's why we raised the concern in our third quarter update in August that we're worried about the, the growth in supply of credit. I think the great news is that the active regulatory process and the active engagement by the press and all commentators has actually started to take the heat out of the system, which is fantastic. So I think we're in a better place than, than we were six months ago. Loans and advances over the year increased by 33% to 53 billion rand. Break that down to us in terms of the income groups um, that, that predominantly those loans reside with and uh, what those loans are being used for. Good question. I mean, if you look at it, uh, about almost 50% of our, of our loans goes to people who earn 3,500 or less at a gross level in terms of number of loans. In terms of value, obviously, it's the other way around. So it'll be more like 20% of our loans by value go to those customers. Um, and then the category I spoke out before, which is the 50, more than 15,000 represents kind of a, like 10% of our, of our business. Um, the use of our credit has historically been very much uh, towards the bi single biggest use is housing and housing improvement, then education, and then in typical cycles like this, con uh, consolidating debt becomes a bigger proportion. We've seen this in the cycles in the past, and obviously that's where we are uh, at now. I mean, just looking at that, you know, the refinancing aspect and consolidating debt, I'm, I know that an issue that's been cited before is you know, market share losses. If you don't play in that space, you also have to go up market share. How do you balance that right now? And what is your approach to lending to that space? Yeah, very good question. Uh, look, market share, if you get hung up about market shares, you, you're going to get into trouble. Uh, credit markets are about actually what you want to do, not try and get gain market share from other people. That's, not, that's, that's exactly where we don't want to be. Uh, and in that regard, that's why we have lost market share this year, but that's the choices you make. You choose where, what sort of risk position you want to take. And in particular, consolidation loans are loans that have to be treated very, very carefully. Right around the world, they've been shown to be loans that ultimately result in tears if you don't, if you don't handle it properly. Mm -hmm. So in our case, our overall offer rates have been down. In other words, for every 100 customers who come into our branch, how many will get a loan? started at 74%, it's down to 68% because we were more cautious. And on consolidation loans in particular, it's only 18%. So only 18% of our customers are going to get a consolidation loan. Overall, you've also had changes to your write-down policy and that's affected the credit impairment charge mm. for the year. In fact, up 45% for the group mm. of the year, 5.2 billion rand impaired. Uh, tell us about the changes to the write-down policy that affected that number. Yeah, we... we it's, it's always this, our write-off policies have been an evolving process. Um, originally, we used to only write off loans after 13 months of no cash. We then pushed it to 17 months because we were finding we, we were writing back a whole lot of loans back onto our balance sheet. So we needed to slow the write-offs down. But 17 months in certain circumstances is also too long. So we use our scorecards in our collections area to identify customers who we are unlikely to get any cash. So we bring a qualitative measure in now. And we implemented that in August and we wrote 1.9 billion rand off. As a result of that, then your coverage is going to come down. So we upped our coverage back to our, our um, historic uh, norms. And that's what really drove the bad debt charge in the second uh, six months. I mean, but ultimately, obviously, the banking division is still the key uh, yeah. to your business, mm -hmm. till obviously to the African Bank uh, Group. Um, you know, you talk about losses in market share to some degree, and of course, survival is about innovation in this business, as in any. Um, what innovative strategies have you got in place now? What's the next five, ten years looking like for Abel? Yeah, look, I think that we're a, a, a business very focused on trying to deliver value to customers, and in that regard, uh, trying to do things in an innovative way is, is key. We we use we beginning we have started to use virtual. Uh, um, methodologies of engaging with customers uh, more and more. Over 10% of our sales, about 13% of our sales are now done by customers just using a cell phone, uh, which is hell of a convenience for the customer. We are definitely moving into the insurance space more to try to help our customers who fall into arrears because of bad luck stuff that happens in their lives. That's going to be key to it. And continuing to actually, you know, be work hard at, at providing the basics properly. So for example, 
70% uh, of our loans get offered to customers in less than seven minutes uh, from the time they walk into our branch. And that takes a lot of work and a lot of energy and commitment. Um, so there's a lot to do. Um, we've got to engage with people better who are self-employed. Um, so f from a societal perspective, that's a big need for, for our country and we need to be uh, at the forefront of trying to evolve credit into those markets. And on a shorter term basis, you, you are indicating that you are going to put the brakes on lending to some degree. Um, and the focus is on ROE as opposed to uh, that aggressive lending growth. So talk to us about that. Yeah, again, in, you know, in, in, you've got to be able to grow when you want to and there's you got to, other times you've got to focus on your returns. And we think we're in, a, in an environment in the next two to three years where returns are more important than just the growth. Um, and so that's where the focus has really started uh, to shift. You've seen that in, in, in the second half of this year, and you'll continue to see that in the next couple of years, that we generate an appropriate return. We want our ROE to go up from 20% to about 25 to 30% uh, through to 2016. And the size of the loan book you're targeting? Look, our, our, loan, our advances will grow by about 20, greater than 23% in the year ahead. On a more longer term basis, I think if you worked on a 15% compound annual growth rate through to 2016, that'll give you a, a view of how big the advances will get to.